Hey you guys, it's Mrs. Alexander and today and for the rest of the school year, we are working with fourth grade math. And today's module one, lesson one from Engage in New York. Our objective is interpret a multiplication equation as a comparison. So let's go read the directions for number one. It says label the place value charts. So first we know what to do. We need to start at the right corner, right side and start off with ones. Then, yes, you guys, tens. Then, hundreds. And what's the last one? Thousands, great job. Then it says to fill in the blanks to make the following equations true. So we have 10 times three ones. So 10 times three is, very good. It is, it is 30. So I'm gonna make 30 ones. So what is 30 ones? Correct, you guys. It is the same as three tens. So now it's saying draw a disc or draw something in the place value chart, show how you got your answer. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do tally marks. And all I'm gonna do is use the little L. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I gotta take these big L's and fix them and put them in as little L's. So for every 10, so let's see if I can do this. There is a way to put a square and I am not seeing it. Okay, let's do a border color. We're just gonna do it as black. And we want all, we want all of them. See that? We're gonna do it all again. So it's format, paragraph styles, hit borders and shadings, and then pick border. See how that works? Oh. That was supposed to un not come. Okay, so I might need to spread it apart a little bit. Now let's try it. Format, paragraph styles, shadings. I'm gonna go 0.5. Now let's just do one, it makes life easier. And then hit apply. And then I'm gonna do it all over again. Format, paragraph styles, borders and shadings. I'm just gonna hit one and then apply. And this one, I'm gonna quick check to make sure I did is one on this one. I did. So I have these three and they come over here to be one, two, three. And that's as far as I can take that. So now let's go to number B and figure this one out. We have 10 times two tens, right, it is, 20, and then over here, right, it is, it's 200. So let's quick label this. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm starting off with tens. So again, I'm gonna try one this time and see what it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna do this here, then go back to my paragraph, pick one, apply, and do the same thing here. So it doesn't matter how, what you use, as long as you have 10 of them, 
Okay, and then because I have two sets of tens over here, I know those tens can be moved over here. Okay, both of these can be moved over because 10 tens is 100. So let's move on. I'm going to leave this one for you. We're going to work on some of these. This is complete the following statements using your knowledge of place value. So if you need to, look at your place value chart. Here we go. 10 times as many as 110 is. So 10 times 1 is. Correct. It is 10 tens. 10 times as many as blank tens is 30 tens or correct, that is 300. So 10 times as many as three tens. Very good, you guys. Do you see how that works? Blank is nine hundreds is 9,000. So we're looking at what? Yes, 10 times as many as nine hundredths is nine thousandths. Do you see that? Okay, hopefully you got it. And then if you need to, this is for part B, you're going to use this. So that means you got to fill that out. And then you're going to get into some word problems. And use numbers, words, use what you need to, use pictures. And then you have your check for understanding. Again, you're going to fill this out. You're going to label the place value chart and demonstrate 4,000 and 400. So we've been working on this. And then tell about the movement of the disk or lines, whatever you're doing, by filling in the blanks. So blank times 10 is this and equals this. So this is check for understanding. If I was going to grade, this is what I'd be grading. So I hope this was understandable and I hope you have a lot of fun. Remember as you're doing this to smile, giggle, and wiggle, and I will talk to you later. Bye.